The first thing that it became clear to us when the confinement started is that we had to make an extra effort to be even closer to our stakeholders. So the idea of the webinars came to the director. He launched in one meeting. And in the same afternoon, I start activating myself, being in contact with the ICT colleagues and the communication colleagues. And together in an amazingly quick exchange of uh, activities and actions, we launched the first one with the help of members of the scientific committee. And then the same afternoon, we launched the registration links. We realized that we had uh, over exceeded the maximum amount of people allowed. <laughs> so we had very quickly to change the license to allow for more people. And then we touched different topics linked with COVID-19, like uh, treatment services, prevention services, um, drug markets, and, and then the recession. But uh, because our aim was to engage our stakeholders, I invited one. Tony has uh, attended the majority of the webinars and I would like to hear from him what was the experience as an attendant to the webinars. Thank you, Marika. I think, I think the, obviously you mentioned the confinement and, and, and the restrictions that we were all living under. Uh, and obviously working, living and working in isolation, um, you want to keep engaged. You want to hear what's going on uh, within the, the, the addiction field, the, the, the drugs field. And, you know, you're looking around, the best way is to look online, and then you're looking for something that is, um, I suppose, valuable to you. And uh, the EMCDDA webinars really jumped out at me as, uh, as a leader of a harm, an Irish harm reduction NGO working at the coalface um, around drugs and drug addiction. And uh, I suppose also we are a civil society organisation engaged with policy structures. Um, so the MCD webinar series uh, has been an important means of keeping uh, me and my colleagues informed of developments in the sector. So that was really, really important to us. Um, it's clear that the inputs uh, fr from experienced drug service providers and other, and other experts. Um, and I think the audience gets to, 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 to hear about the issues and then and in the Q&A, they get to um, they get the, the Q and A section. They get to further question and 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 sort of satisfy themselves on some of the subjects that that, that they're interested in. Um, and I guess I just want to say something else about um, I suppose whether you're a a drug policy aficionado or whether you're just interested and 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 interested in all areas of drug policy, or whether you're someone who is interested in a specific area of drug policy, I do think that um, that within the existing recordings that the MCD have done and the scheduled upcoming and upcoming um, webinars that are, that, that, that are yet to be made, I think people will find something to interest them. All I want to say is keep up the great work at the, uh, at the MCDDA because you are keeping people uh, engaged and informing people. We really need to learn from each other and the webinars are excellent for that.